how do you wear your menstrual cycle? Today I'm speaking with Maria, image consultant specialized in marketing and sustainability. She will explain to us how we can wear our menstrual cycle. Hello, Yogi. Welcome to my podcast. I'm Aiko, and on this show we explore ways to put spiritual theory into sustainable practice. So welcome, Maria, to my show. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. Me too, Aiko. <laughs> Good. So would you like to start just by sharing something about yourself? Yeah, yes, definitely. I can introduce myself. Uh, I'm Maria Begoña from Spain, and I'm living in Finland uh, during four years. So um, uh, nowadays I'm an entrepreneur and I have my own company. I'm an image consultant, uh, specialized in sustainability in fashion and psychology in fashion. So I basically guide people to find their true style and also to uh, do like, um, to see fashion in a more conscious way and, and to see that uh, clothes are a really good like um, uh, tool to improve yourself and so the best of mm -hmm. yourself and, and, and the best of your personality and who you really are. So that's my mission. <laughs> yeah, that's very beautiful. And you know, like, like the first impression you give is your, your body, how you dress and everything. And you can never change that. That's yeah. going to be your first impression to someone forever. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this, and it's really important mm. that we we show the best of yourself or of ourselves always. And mm. as you said, first impression is really difficult to change because um, it's related to something unconscious that we have inside. When we see somebody, we just directly think about how is this person, mm. what is uh, his work or her work, mm. or things like that. So it's it's like really, really important to to work on that. Yeah, thank you. So mm -hmm. how did fashion came into your life? How you enter in this concept, which is kind of unique. It's not just fashion. There yeah. is like the psychology behind. And that's yes. very, very important, I think. Yeah. Well, I, I have always loved fashion since I was young. And my mom told me that when I was even a baby and, and we were like in the street and I hear some heels uh, sound, mm. I just move my, my head and, and watch. And <laughs> yeah, I was quite curious. And then I started, you know, trying hair clothes and shoes since I was young. So, so it's been, um, I've been quite passionate about, about fashion. Uh, but uh, then when I was at university, I was studying my degree in business administration and management. Um, so I, I was like, just uh, giving advice to my friends about how to dress and which kind of clothes are better for themselves and, and these kind of things. So after my degree, I started to study in a, a postgraduate degree in uh, personal image and marketing. Mm. So that's when my 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 path as fashion consultant started, and um, I have always uh, loved uh, uh, to work from inside out. I don't know why 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 is the reason, but it's it's like it came directly from from myself. You know, I'm mm. quite a person like I want to look at inside of myself always, you know, and, and try to find answers to my questions. So I think that's why I have always worked from that perspective. And I started uh, seeing that um, for me, fashion, it wasn't only like beautiful clothes, you know, trends or, or these kind of things, but it was also how clothes made me feel when I wore them. Yeah. So, so that's why I, I thought that I really need to go in that direction uh, to, to try to explain my customers and my clients that, that fashion is, is not only looking beautiful, but also yeah. 
uh, feel uh, feel yeah. good with yourself and some and wearing clothes that really represent your essence and your values and also your dreams and what do you expect from life so it, it's like a very holistic uh, concept um and um, then after that I started to after working for many fashion companies I started to specialize myself in sustainability in fashion uh, mostly it was when I came to Finland because it was really inspiring country in that sense for myself mm -hmm. uh, because I saw that they, there were many many stores like secondhand stores you know people are recycling many things and and trying to make their clothes uh, last longer. So that was really inspiring for myself. And I decided to take like the a slow approach in my business mm -hmm. as well. Because uh, I think, well, nowadays is is really important, you know, to know how to consume fashion in, in a very like um in a way that we respect our environment. Yes. Uh, and also like to know where are our clothes done, who has done them, and and also that our um, um, when we choose which kind of clothes or where do we want to spend our money, it's necessary also that it's aligned with our values and these kind of things. So this is mainly how I see the concept and how I think mm -hmm. fashion can help us in our everyday life. And, and also personal and professional life yeah that's super beautiful I'm, thank you yeah when I heard about what you're doing I thought wow that's so fascinating <laughs> yeah I yeah, love yeah. that yeah and you really see when I'm working with a customer you know um, and we are we are sharing like many things and feelings and uh, because sometimes you know that um, uh, I work also on on uh, from the perspective that we have to love our body and ourselves and accept ourselves, and of course uh, we if we want to improve in in many things in our life, of course we we should go ahead and do it. But we have to respect who we are in yeah. that sense. And and nowadays also with social media and and all these things that that we we try to think that life or other people are just perfect or their bodies are perfect it's not like that. So I also like try to uh, teach them in a way that you are perfect as you are and and just your clothes are it's it's one tool that is gonna reflect the 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 best part of of yourself. And yeah. Um, yeah, and this is something also that I like to work to work yeah. on always. Yeah, I totally like that concept because like um, you know, I moved in many countries in mm -hmm. my life. And like when I moved from India to Bulgaria, it was very sudden. And uh, in India I was wearing Indian clothes, so mm -hmm. very colorful, these big yeah. beautiful skirts. Yeah. But like you can't go around dressed like this in mm -hmm. Western countries. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't feel comfort. I was not feeling comfortable. Yeah. And I left anyway, all my clothes there. And I had just, I think, two pair of leggings and maybe three shirts that I could use. So I start going in secondhand stores. And Bulgaria mm -hmm. also has so many secondhand stores. Okay. And um, there were like few with um, brands and uh, fashion from Italy and things like that. Mm. And um, and it's true, like when you have the right clothes for yourself, then you feel more comfortable. Yeah. Like when I only had this two pair of leggings and three shirts, I was not feeling comfortable going out mm. around. It mm. was just like, Oh, this is like so tight, and it's yeah. just like mm, yeah. I don't, I don't like it. And when I was yeah. in Italy, I was super. I was very much into fashion. I was yeah. spending a lot of money. I imagine. Yeah, and um, I wouldn't do that like anymore. <laughs> going and spend two hundred euro for a pair of shoes, or mm -hmm. maybe for shoes, but for pants or for a shirt, it's just 
as you as you said before it's so important to even think to whom yeah. where you give your money yes and the, the industry behind the fashion it's like many other industry food also and many mm. other things like it's not that great yeah so, no it is and, and it's also yeah. one of the most polluting in the world yeah because they use many resources you know to yeah. do the clothes and and um many 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 things that that we are not uh, that we need uh, to survive i mean water and our fields and and the soils and and all these these things you know mm-hmm. and electricity uh, many things yeah. and as as you mentioned it's it's like when you don't don't dress according to who you are and your style it's like you don't feel comfortable and and this also affects to your confidence because yes. you feel much less confidence so it's really important in, in that sense because all of us we have our own style i i used to have some clients in spain that used to say to me that i i don't i don't think i have any style and and i was just like mm-hmm. yeah talking to them like yeah we we all have our style even if you think you don't have it yeah because i'm sure that are many clothes that you didn't wear uh, or 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 other colors that you don't feel comfortable, for example. So it's it's like try to find which ones are you know aligned with ourselves and our values, especially mm. because they are they are gonna make us feel like totally different, you know. And it's it really affects to our mood and and especially yeah. to our confidence. Yeah, I like very much what you said that it affects our mood because yeah. as you know like we have we women we have mm-hmm. a menstrual cycle which is which can be like from 24 to 40 days yeah and we are going through different phases during mm-hmm. this um this cycle mm-hmm. so we have uh, like the seasons outside we have our inner seasons so we have our inner winter um in the spring in the summer and in the autumn and yeah um, and it was super good to learn this from you because i didn't <laughs> know before you know mm. so it's it's really yeah. nice yeah. yeah thank you yeah i think it's very important because like no one teach us when yeah. we get the first menstruation anything mm. about it it's more yeah, like oh cool. here are the pads change them like this yeah and, and that, that's it and that's it and I remember like at school like feel uncomfortable then you stay in your your pants you don't really know how to walk nobody yeah. really tells you actually how good it is for you you feel yeah. like you have menses and it's a course for the rest of your life but actually if you learn how to move into your inner season mm. if you understand that there are like hormonal fluctuations during yeah. this season and you work with it and you like follow listen to your body then mm. you can empower yourself and it yeah. work through yeah and, it's um, very important and it, yeah. especially to know that emotionally that it affects yes. a lot so it's yes. it's really important that that we all women know we yeah. are you know the the steps and and the stages yes also because mm-hmm. like sometimes you might feel maybe there is something wrong with me i'm mm-hmm. so angry yeah. to my partner to my kids or to my colleagues yeah. but then after two days you're totally fine with them like yeah. it was just and then like it's important to know that these are hormones like it's not mm-hmm. you you are not a anger is not you Mm-hmm. Yeah. sadness is not you all the pms they occur during the inner autumn and um if you go against that then you will have more and more like your body will tell you hey stop mm-hmm. please stop yeah. Yeah. it's like the seasons outside i always say like during the summer you're not going to wear a, a ski suit and go yeah. to ski mm-hmm you know and in the winter you're not going outside with a swimsuit or something yeah. yes. you 
accordingly. Otherwise, you will get sick and your body will tell you you mm. have to move to, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, I would like to ask you how how we can connect this clothes and style fashion into the inner season. Like, for example, the winter is a moment of um, of inhalation of vital forces. Mm. The winter is when you have the menstruation. Mm. And I always say to my clients and to my friends also that it's important to rest and to avoid like uh, social events or mm. things like that. Yeah. So in this phase, what would you suggest? How to dress or how, yeah, how to move? Yeah. In that, in that sense, I think uh, it's good like to listen to your body and 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 to wear like comfortable clothes, mm -hmm. you know, and something that is like really soft, close to your skin, you know, that make you feel like really comfortable and and mm -hmm. you know, also like like uh, feel like in a safety way, you know, yeah, little cozy, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, that you are not feeling very well so I, I really recommend like uh, this kind of comfortable clothes and also like soft colors you mm. know so that they, they can bring us like calm and, and, and peace mm. in, in that sense to to go through through this uh, season I really recommend that and and then especially when we are like now finally we are in the spring uh, you know mm -hmm. after a super long winter and and, yeah. and dark dark mm -hmm. winter especially here in Finland so now, now it's I love this season because it's like um, for me it's the moment like uh, to start building your image again to show yourself again yeah. Because in winter we normally wear like you know more like darker colors and we yeah. don't dress ourselves how we would like to because of the weather in here. Yeah. Um, so we are always wearing you know like long coats uh, because it's it's um, uh, really cold and 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 with the hats and and scarves and all these things and boots. So so it's for me it's like we are now waking up after the long winter yeah and it's, it's a good season now to start exploring ourselves again and check our wardrobe and see okay what do i have which kind of clothes do i have for this this season and and to try to wear like bright colors you know mm. according now to the sun that is it's coming finally and explore yourself what has changed from last year to now yeah yeah and yeah, because it, you know we we are going with stages also with our style and and uh, even though we all we uh, all of us have our own style, but it it can change related yeah. to also to our life and and yeah. in, in with stage we we are because it's not the same when you get pregnant and then you have kids or if you are in in a way that you are looking for a job then it mm -hmm. might change also. So it's it's like yeah, we have to adapt also our clothing to, to that different situations yes. in our life. Yeah, now that you say that, I just remembered um, when I was at high school, I had a lot of fire, a lot of pita in me. And uh, when I had uh, my cycle, the menstruation, I would wear a red hoodie. So everyone mm -hmm. in my class, they knew that when I was wearing a red hoodie, they had to leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's but, a good sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but when you see also the, the psychology of the colors, actually mm -hmm. red, it's giving more fire to it. Yes, yeah. So you just mentioned now to, to use softer colors mm. and that, that, that really helps like cooling mm. down the yeah. fire if you yeah. have some so yes. maybe it was not a good choice to have a red hoodie maybe I should have <laughs> yeah have maybe you want to express <laughs> the fire that you had inside yeah <laughs> yeah exactly and um so for the summer which actually inner summer which actually mm -hmm. it's uh, this inner season of pitad or fire what would you suggest how to dress 
Yeah. Well, I would suggest definitely like um, uh, to feel like more free with ourselves, mm. you know, and and wear the clothes that we we really want to wear, no matter uh, what other people could think about mm. us or whatever. Just just feel free to wear whatever we want, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, and explore like the um, the the colors. And, and feel which kind of colors are connecting better with our emotions and our feelings mm-hmm. and and try to buy like this kind of light clothes you know really close to our body and, and yeah. these kind of dresses that they are really comfortable to wear yeah. but they, they look nice in ourselves also and or like small patterns with flowers and Mm. this kind of summary you know style yeah um yeah so i think something like this that that make us feel like like free you know yeah that we can express ourselves with with the clothing yeah. something that we cannot do really do in winter yeah because we are wearing you know like many many different clothes and it's like i feel that we can express ourselves yeah uh, really good so we have to now in spring and, and summer is the moment like to to yeah. bloom yeah so yeah. yeah exactly and also in the inner seasons the inner summer is the season where you ovulate mm. so automatically so your beautiful body, and, yeah, yeah exactly your body is different you feel confident mm-hmm. your skin mm-hmm. is smoother and um and there are many like we also release a lot of hormones from the neck and um, we just feel confident that yeah. we don't during our inner winter and autumn. Yeah. So as you like, it totally makes sense to me, like what you said, that just mm-hmm. wear what you what you want to wear. And yes, yes because anyway, you have the confidence to yeah. just wear it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. So now the inner autumn, which is this moment of the month where we might feel insecure we start um just it's good to go inward but sometimes we don't know that so we keep Mm -hmm. like um our schedule like we did in the inner summer while with the inner summer was good but in the inner Mm -hmm. autumn we should learn to slow down and um many women experience their PMS and mm. a lot of discomfort during this season so they might just hide under the pillow in the bed so yeah. Yeah. How, how to dress and how to use clothes in yeah. order to to feel better yeah, mm. yeah. in that sense I think um, it's good that uh, even though uh, we feel that we don't want to go anywhere because we don't feel confident enough on these things. Uh, and, and we know that emotions that are coming. So so it's, it's good that we recognize this in mm-hmm. ourselves so that we can manage in the best way we can. Uh, so I recommend that you select clothes that... Uh, connect with yourself and mm. so that this kind of clothes that you feel yourself and you really like them you know mm. because when we are feeling in a in a you know in a bad mood or 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 we feel like tired or whatever we try to hide ourselves in the, yeah. with the clothes, you know wearing like dark colors it's like I don't want anybody to see me because I don't feel comfortable but but then when we recognize these feelings, these clothes can help us to feel better in that mm. sense. So if you wear clothes with a little bit of color, I am mm. not um, I'm not expecting that you are gonna wear like a red uh, dress or something like this. Yeah. Not not like this, but something in between. You know, mm. it's gonna also affect to our mood. It's gonna make us feel better in that sense. Mm-hmm. And and I I also recommend, for example, play with the accessories and jewelry, for mm-hmm. example, because it can bring us light and joy. And even though if we are feeling not that good, it's good also like to make up a little bit ourselves and to put nice jewelry, you know, 
and then you will see that that you're gonna feel better mm-hmm. so sometimes it's like small changes you yeah. know you yeah. don't necessarily need to dress yourself like perfectly but just small touches that make you at least feel like more comfortable you mm-hmm. know that's very useful thank you mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're doing an amazing job and mm-hmm. um, I just heard that you're actually uh, preparing a documentary about yes. this job yeah so please tell us yeah. more about it yeah that's fantastic yes, yeah I'm so excited and mm-hmm. uh, well it's it's an idea that came to my mind one day I was just cooking at home and I was thinking how can I show people who are who mm-hmm. are what am I doing? How is my job? You know, what are the stages that I, I go through with my clients? And what is the process of Panimat's uh, consultancy? And, and how I want to reflect also how people are feeling before and after, you know, the transformation. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I thought that I should definitely uh, film like a documentary about the image mm. transformation of two people um that that want to like that are really um compromise i have a big compromise with themselves in in sense of of willing to change their image and and improve mm. themselves so yeah i'm doing it in with um some people of course uh, some that are going to film and do everything yeah. And I'm really excited because now we are with the casting, so uh, people mm. can still send us the application until 28th, 28th of April, and then at the end of May we will do like the filming uh, with the two people who are going to be the ones who will participate. And yeah, I'm super excited Yeah. This. So mm-hmm. how how people can participate? Like the the time is still open, right? To yes, yes, for it's that. still mm-hmm. open, and they have the information in in Instagram, and they can find in in one of my posts. Uh, it it says all the information, but they can find uh, they can send me the applications to info uh, at belava dot fee. Uh, and they can send the application and explain why they would they like to participate yeah. because as I said I really want people who are who are willing to have the service you know yeah because uh, they will get for free uh, the service mm. which is um, valued in more than 600 euros yeah exactly so so I'm I'm really happy to get people that uh, really want to make a change and, yeah. and they want me to help them in the path of of their you know personal transformation and yeah it's, I'm really excited yeah and, me too. and the the documentary name is uh, is Kukinta which means bloom mm. in in mm. Finnish because I thought about the season and I also tell to all, all the team uh, that I would like to, to film the documentary now in spring because, mm. you know, flowers are coming, we have yeah. the sun outside, so it's time to bloom yeah. and to show the best of ourselves. So I, I it was a nice message also. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, and of course, thanks. I will put the links uh, in the description of the podcast mm-hmm. if someone is interested. Yeah, good. Yeah. So I have one last question just mm-hmm. to round up everything. Do you have any suggestion for people who really would like to maybe wear something outside their usual comfort zone? Maybe they were wearing the same gray and black clothes mm-hmm. for many years and they listen to this podcast and they think I really want that yellow sweater I saw last time but I don't dare I don't yeah. dare you know so do you yeah. have some suggestion for these people well I I, I would suggest them that because uh, colors are really important when we dress mm-hmm. and they, they they can make us feel like uh, uh, good and 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 
and and fresh or they can they can make us feel like we are tired or we are sick you know yeah. so the colors affect really really like a lot in in our faces um so well i would recommend like they could do like the color test analysis which is really useful mm -hmm. because they will know which are which is the the seasons that is better with their skin color eyes and and hair hair color so it this is really useful and it's something that i always start with this service with my customers because as i said colors are are really important and when mm -hmm. we put them close to our face they can make us feel good or or bad yeah so it's it's really important uh, and then it's it's uh, when you know which are your best colors it's much easier to combine your wardrobe and mm -hmm. and to know how to go shopping and select which are the best colors for you and which are the best clothes because then it's going to be easier to do the outfits and, mm -hmm. and all these things so it's like everything is connected you know it's it's mm -hmm. like a process but um but of course they can explore themselves and and they can just uh, start checking which are the colors that oh maybe this I like why not try it you know at least try mm. not just avoid start. avoid it mm. yes directly but but just try it and and see how you feel when you wear it and as I said it it doesn't have to be like a big change you can start with small things a small scarf you know some some nice earrings mm. uh, just lipstick for example for women. So it's like sometimes it's like start with something small and then you go you go and, and, and when you feel more confident you can they go and further a mm -hmm. step further and, and continue you know with other things but yeah. just small things. Thank you. That was okay. very great. <laughs> and I would also like to mention for the listener that you're actually offering a free magazine, right? Yeah about colors yes yeah. yes they can find it in my website mm. in belava.fi and uh, i have uh, like received many messages from from the mm. customers that they really like it and mm. yeah i'm so proud of of the magazine because it's it's really nice and it gives you a lot of tips about colors how to combine them Mm. Because I know sometimes it's tricky. Uh, people yeah. sometimes they don't wear like a lot of colors because they don't know what is how matching. How to combine? Yeah. Yes, how to combine them. So this with this magazine, they will have clearly an idea of how mm. to combine them if they want to give like a more powerful effect or something like you know nice but not that that much. Mm. So I, I totally recommend that they can uh, subscribe to the magazine and they can receive it for free. Wow, that's a very big gift. Ah, so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to have you here. And it's I'm been a pleasure for me mm. too. Yes. Thank you. And I'm thank looking you. forward for further collaborations and something. Yes, yeah. To talk about. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We'll have to do something soon yeah. <laughs> yeah. for the audience. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then. Thank you. Have a nice day, Aiko. You too. Thank you. I hope this episode fulfilled its purpose of inspiring you. If you like it, feel free to share it, give a review or a rating, subscribe. And if you have any question, please get in touch at aikoota.com.